podcasts and channel, where we will be talking about updates to make sure everyone knows what's going on in the Roblox world. Since currently we are in the season of winter, we will be checking out winter updates first. Probably the most second popular update so far is Adopt Me Winter Event, so let's check that out. Alright, we're in the server, and as you can see, they kind of went for a Candyland thing. You know, there, haven't, there hasn't been much, you know, pet wear in the advent calendar, so I mean, Adopt Me, you better hook us up with that scarf on the snowman. Anyways, as you can see, they were definitely going for a candy wonderland because there's cherries and ice cream for snow and there's even lollipop lamps mm. and of course there's presents on the side so now we can check out the inside first we have the icebreaker ship it costs fifteen thousand dollars i feel like this is a good price but i've heard that it only works on water um you can spawn it on land but it doesn't really work on land so i mean i wouldn't really buy it um, the colors on it, there is a bright orange, a black, a gray, and a white. I love how much detail they put into this with the snow on the side, the anchor, the propeller, and the little antenna on the, um, top of it. Would I buy this? Probably not, just because it doesn't work on land, but I feel like it looks very nice. And, like, yeah. Hello, so I'm going to be talking about the giant snowball. Um, it is um, 60,000 gingerbread. Um, its color is white, very um, plain. Um, it has nothing really on it, so there's nothing really I could say about that. Um, my opinion, I don't really think it's worth it. Um, six, it's $60,000 and there's nothing really to it. Um, yeah. The final vehicle we have is the Candy Snowmobile. It costs $30,000, and I feel like that it looks really cool because it has lots of different colors, and I also love all the detail they put on it um, with um, candy canes, frosting, ice cream, peppermints, cherries, just a bunch of, like, gumdrops and, like, details all over it. Um... I would probably buy this because it's 30000 and that you can get really easily. So I would probably buy it, but. Okay, so for the toys, for the first toy, we have a strawberry tea. <laughs> it is 1000 gingerbread, and so it is a small um, strawberry that is in the shape of a, a um, teapot. And so I sort of think that it would be worth it, but. Um, at the same time, I don't because I don't use personally, um, I don't personally use, um, leashes. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, then for the second toy behind me, we have the rubber sandwich toy. It is 5,000 gingerbread, and I personally don't really think it's worth it because 5,000, and there's so many other kinds of chew toys that you can go and try to get from the, um, gifts or... You can trade for them or all that. But if you're willing to pay all that and try to get it, then go for it. Okay, and next we have the Strawberry Rattle, which is 250 gingerbread. I mean, is it worth it? If you like rattles or you like being a baby, then go for it. But, I mean, I don't know. I personally wouldn't buy it. I'm never a baby unless I'm grinding. Um, let's see. It's just a plain rattle on a stick. Um, opinion. Um, I would buy it just because it's so cheap. And if I, like, wanted to collect them, all the toys. But right now, I'm good on it. Next, we had the Strawberry Toast Flying Disc. It's 2,000 gingerbread. I mean, I do think it's a little overpriced. But yet again, the flying discs are fun to use, and they actually do something. Um... 2,000, that's pretty much one lake uh, go-through, or whatever you call it. Um, it's okay. Would I buy it? Yeah. I kind of like the flying disc toys, but um, yeah, that's just me. <laughs> and next, we have the Strawberry Kitty Throw Toy. Last, but probably not least. Um, it's 500 gingerbread. It's very interesting. I don't really 
get why they went for the strawberry theme, even though, you know, it's winter, and strawberry is more like a summer theme. But, um, you know, if you like throw toys, they're kind of nice to have, and 500 gingerbread is cheap. Would I buy it? Uh, yeah, like I said, um, if I would want to collect them all at the end, they might become worth something. I don't know. So, yeah. And up next, we have the Pony Box. It is 14,000 gingerbread. And is it worth it? Yeah, because there's three different kinds of ponies you can get. And they're all rare or higher, which is it's probably a sale of a deal. Um, the details on the box. Um, it's like a saddle, and it has a ponytail. And it's kind of like a normal box, um, like a treasure chest. Is it worth it? Yeah, I would. I have four personally of the dark brown horses, which they would. Someone would talk about later. The percentages. You have eighty-seven point five percent for the dark brown pony. You have ten percent for the white pony, and two point five percent for the light brown pony. Um, I think it's great because you could get a legendary pet for just fourteen thousand gingerbread if you're lucky. So, I think it's a pretty good deal. I, yeah, I would get it. Okay, so behind me for the first pony, there it is a dark brown pony. The, um, it is, I think it would be worth it because, um, like Isla was saying, there is so many different kinds that you could get, but especially this one because it's, um, it's just cute. Um, the colors are dark brown and like a tan. The neon is a peach, like a light peach, and then the things on it has a mane and a tail and um, a spot on its back and one um, right below its um, head. And then I think that it would be worth it because it's just cute and all right all. Okay. Next we have the Shetland Pony White. Obviously, it technically costs 14000 but not for sure. Um, it has it's white gray and black um it has white spots on the bottom of its neck and on its back and it also has a mane and a tail all of them are basically the same but different colors and names and everything um the neon color all of everything like all of its hair and the spots and his feet i think they become neon green when it is neon obviously um, like I said, it just has some details with the hair and then the spots. Overall, my, like, I feel like it looks kind of, um, weird. I don't know why. I just don't like the ponies, personally. But that's just my opinion. Um, now we will be talking about the light brown Shetland pony. Um, its price is the same as all the others, fourteen thousand. Um, I think the price is worth it because it's only fourteen thousand, and compared to all the other legendaries, most of the legendaries are like a hundred thousand. So I think it's pretty much worth it. Um, its color is light brown and kind of a tan. Um, for the main. And then, um, it's neon is, it's like a cream kind of color, um, for the neon. I think it's pretty cute. The things on it, it has, like, a mane and a tail, um, like all the others. It has, um, just, yeah, I like it. Um, I think it's worth it because it's um, a legendary that you have a chance to get. Um, and it's only for 14000 The percentage to get it, though, is 2.5. So it is a pretty low percent, but if you're lucky enough, you can get it. So, yeah. Okay, so for one of the first, the first pets, we have the Ermine. It is 9,000 um, gingerbread. The colors are... Um, white and black so it's pretty plain the neon is um it's a orange and so the orange is on the ears feet and tail it is an uncommon pet but it's also the cheapest pet 
And so the things on it is pretty plain and simple. It, it, there are ears, tail, whiskers, eyes, and there's not really anything on it. Um, so overall, I think that it is worth it because it would be a pretty easy neon to make. So we will be talking about the Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon now. Um, its price is a thousand Robux, which is a lot, but that is um, fine because it is going to be rare in the future, I feel like. Um, its color is kind of like a red, tan, and white, um, and there is a little bit of green on the tail. The neon is a pink color, which the, I mean, the color is, it's not my favorite, but for the neon, but I do think it's still cute, as always. Um, the things on it are a bunch of strawberries, um, some whipped cream, and wings, and in my opinion, I think it's worth it because I think it's really cute. I actually have one, and I wouldn't have uh, um, traded for one if I didn't like it. So, yeah. And next we have the Ice Moth Dragon, which is 120,000 gingerbread. The price, it is super pricey, um, but it's not that hard to get, though. I would say, I mean, if you like it, it's worth it. Um, the colors, we have a light blue and an even lighter blue on it. Neon. <laughs> Believe it or not, the neon is a light blue. It's it's cute. The things on it, um, it does have an arrow on its head, which kind of reminds me of Avatar, the last Airbender Aang. Um, I like how they did try to do something different with their pet, but it is a little extra. Opinion on it? Is it worth it? I mean, hey, if you want a good winter pet and you just feel like you want to try something different, then I feel like that's good with you. But I, would I buy it? Maybe. Who knows? And that's it. The final pet we have is called the Irish Elk. It costs $35,000, which I pre- I think is, like, pretty reasonable. Um, I like how it looks. I like all the detail with the antlers and the ears and the fur, like, under its neck and... I just love, like, the amount of detail they put into it. It's, like, simple and complicated at the same time. Um, it has a brown color palette. Um, basically just different shades of brown and tan. Um, the neon is on its stomach, on the fur under its neck. Um, the antlers and the tail, which you can't see from here. Um, I think that it looks very nice. I would probably buy this. And I feel like in the um, in the future, people would probably like this. Not cut, and it is a rare only. But I feel like people would like it for the looks of it. And last but definitely not least, we have the advent calendar. There is a total so well a total, I think twenty five days. And right now we are on day fourteen. The price? Oh, well, there is no price, and that's the best part of it. All you have to do is join the game every day and wait the time. Wait till the timer ends. Um, the things inside of it. You can get toys, you can get petware, and sometimes they'll give you 3,000 gingerbread. The last thing we're going to talk about in this episode is the 25th day of the Advent Calendar. Every year when they have the advent calendar at the last day, the 25th day, there is a special pet that you can see, but they don't kind of give any, like, background information. Um, We don't know what it's called yet. Um, The price, obviously, it's free. You just have to make sure that you log in on the 25th day. Um, Obviously, it's worth it because, like, it's just a free pet. And I feel like it's not going to be that rare, though. Because everyone's probably going to get one. Or not everyone, but like most people are going to get one. Um, it has lots of detail. It has um, ornaments, I would assume, on its antlers and its um, neck. Kind of like a choker, sort of. And it also has patterns on its ears and its tail. And then it has antlers, um, a nose, eyes, obviously, I would hope so. Um... I don't know what the neon is because you cannot look it up because we don't know the name and it's not in the journal yet. Um, 
I feel like I don't really love how it looks, but I know there are people who do, so I'll probably just give it away to someone or trade it to someone. Um, I feel like it is something that has to do with a reindeer or a deer, so that's just some little conspiracy. Okay, everybody, and welcome to the ending of this episode. We're probably, probably <laughs> going to have a part two. It's going to be about the new update. Um, they're going to have a new mini game, new pets, which is actually coming tomorrow, this Thursday. I don't know if we'll uh, update you guys right away. Um, we might have stuff going on, you know, there's, um, lots of work to do, because we're in school still. But yeah, um, I hope you guys can join us in the next episode, and see you guys!